I just got a talk with my supervisor. I got a promotion. Really? Congratulations, Connor. I know you've been working hard. I'm so happy for you. You got a promotion last month, too. That motivated me so much. Oh, wow. I'm really glad I was a good influence. But you were the one who made your dreams come true. It's not over yet. I got a raise, so my salary got higher than yours. <laughs> Is that so? Congrats. Don't be too upset about it. I know it must be vexing right now. Upset? Do I have a reason to? It's such good news. You lost me. When you got a promotion last month, you gloated about how you got a raise. This is my paycheck. How do you feel now? I didn't mean to seem like I was gloating. I wanted to tell you first. That's how much I was happy. It wasn't from vanity. It doesn't matter what you felt inside. I still felt betrayed. I was so ashamed and pissed. And I knew I'd get my revenge. Sorry. I didn't know. Apologies won't heal my wounds. But... In the first place, it's wrong for a woman to be superior to a man. I'll make you pay for exceeding me. Just you wait. Hey, Connor. There's something that's been bugging me for a while. What? You've been buying more and more stuff from luxury designer brands. Am I? Yeah, you are. Like your new clothes and your watch. Just the other day, I saw you wearing Gucci socks. It's no big deal. I have to look the part now I got a promotion to a higher position. Does your company pay that well? I understand how you got a raise when you got promoted, but I don't remember your job being that lucrative. It's my money. I can use it how I want. As long as you put equal sum in our joint account every month, I have no complaints. Are you sure, though? I am sure. Stop being jealous of me because your salary can't afford luxury. <laughs> I am not. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Stop lying. All girls love a high life. When I started to wear designer ties and watch, the girls in my company started to walk up to me more. <laughs> Is that so? People like different things. Some people like designer brands. I don't care for them. It's not like all of the girls are flocking over you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> they aren't coming to me because of their taste. It's because I'm too handsome for them. <laughs> handsome? What? Are you a narcissist all of a sudden? Anyway, I am steps ahead of you now. By looks and my possessions. Are you still on about that? It's not a competition, Connor. You're just jealous. If you want to outrun me, why don't you go buy some designer bags or something? I told you already. I don't care for designer brands. I'm happy with the stuff that I already have. Really? If that's the case, why don't you have more luxury items? Stop lying to yourself. <laughs> why do you care so much about branding? Luxury brands doesn't necessarily mean you're rich. If you don't stop, I'll tell your mother. What? You're gonna snitch to my mom? That won't be good for you, huh? She always has been strict to you and good to me. If she hears about you trying to dominate me, who knows what she'll do. You coward, don't bring my mom into this. Losers weepers, your persistence will be the end of you. Don't you dare think you've won this. I haven't lost. Understand? Hey, Connor. You did say you're going out today? Huh? I told you yesterday I'm going to fish with a colleague. You're getting old quickly. <laughs> Is that colleague a man? Yeah. What? You think I'm lying? So you're out fishing with a male colleague of yours? That's what I've been telling you. Don't make me repeat myself. I'm gonna lose a big one, so stop texting me. Oh, pretty sure you already got that fish. The hell? Going out on a lunch date with a young pretty girl? Why did you lie to me? I didn't realize I was in a pond. 
Wait, are you in the same place? I was. Not anymore. I wasn't feeling great after seeing the two of you. I'm resting at the park after I took some photos for proof. Why were you here? It's out of state! I met up with a friend because I had spare time. We decided to come to this place for the occasion, saw the hype on the internet, and there we found you. What a coincidence, to see your husband having an affair. Um, this isn't what it seems. What? Are you going to gloat over how you can get girls now? It's not my fault they're attracted to me. It's my duty to make them satisfied. Don't be defiant. Do you not realize what you're doing? Aren't you sorry for her? Why would I? Have you forgotten you're married? What if she develops feelings for you? You know what'll happen then? What? The fuck? Are you really this thick? There's no future in falling in love with a married man. Stop feeding her empty promises. Or are you feeling something for her? So what if I am? I'm gonna marry her after I divorce from you. Are you serious? Oh, hell yes. Unlike you, this girl's young and pretty. And she knows how to respect a man. Being with her makes me feel important. You don't feel that with me? You can do anything on your own. You can feed yourself. The only times you need me are when you want to use me as a ladder. That may be so, but I'm not convinced. Are you sure you want this? What do you mean? Doesn't she work with you? How do you know she's not in it for the money? She approached you after you got your promotion, right? She isn't like that. How can you be so sure? You never know her true intentions. I asked her when I thought the same thing, if she was only with me because she's after my money. She said no, and I believe her. Easy for her to say. Who knows what she's thinking in her gut? Are you doubting her now? Of course I am. You're intent on marrying her. If that's the case, you're the one who will be in trouble. Why me? We're second cousins. If we get a divorce because of your affair, the rumors will spread like wildfire. You and your mother might lose your place. Oh, that. <laughs> no one will know if you keep your mouth shut. The hell I am. I might not go around telling tales, but I sure am telling my parents the truth. Your mother will hear about it soon enough, and everybody else. You really are dumb. <laughs> if you don't tell anyone, no one will find out. You're calling me dumb? If we're getting divorced, they'll ask us why, and I'm not keeping secrets. You just have to change the story, like we weren't compatible or something. Then there'll be no problems. The hell you are! I'm charging you both alimony. What for? You know exactly what! You had an affair! There's no hiding it once the divorce is settled. The hell? You know I can't pay that! Why not? You've been telling me this whole time that you're earning more than me. How could you afford designer brands with your high salary? You must be able to pay for alimony if you could pay for your freaking watch. Um, about that. Or can't you? I thought you had the money. I do. Then it's settled. I looked it up. The average rate is about $25,000. 25,000? Well, it depends on how long the marriage was and whether there's children. So, I guess it'll be less than that. Oh, okay. Not too fast. Pretty sure you'll pay over 7,000, so I'll be ready if I were you. Fine. And also, you can come by the house for now, but don't talk to me unless it's necessary. How necessary? Don't talk to me unless it has something to do with the divorce. Do your own laundry and cooking. What the hell? You're my wife! That's your job! We're getting a divorce. It's not my obligation anymore. I'm not your housekeeper. Or what? Are wives supposed to take care of their soon-to-be ex-husband after he had an affair? No, but technically you could do it for me. Hell no. Do your own chores. If you're not satisfied, then move out. I'm getting a lawyer to take you down. Goodbye. Hey, Kate, have you moved out yet? Huh? Why the hell would I move out? It's been a week since the divorce was finalized. Stop clinging on to what you don't own anymore. <laughs> oh? But I own this house. Huh? You haven't forgotten, have you? That's my house. It was my father's before me. When we got married two years ago, looking for a house, your father offered to give the deed in my name. Don't you remember? Your name on the deed? Um... Yeah. 
He thought it was better I own it because I was more reliable. You agreed to that. What was I doing at the time? On your phone or something. I don't know. You probably weren't listening closely to the conversation, but you were there and you agreed to it. So this is my freaking house. No way. You weren't intending on moving in with your lover? That's too bad. You need to find somewhere else to stay now. Then give it to me. It's too big for you to take care of. I thought so as well. So I decided to sell it. I already have a buyer. The hell? You're selling it when you could just give it to me? Yep. I'm not your fairy godmother in this story. No, you're the evil witch. You have been all these years. Like I care what you say about me? Sorry to disappoint. With you debt-ridden and all, you must have been looking forward to living here. No way, Jose. How do you know about that? After I found out about the affair, I went to a private investigator to gather more proof. Turns out, you had more than one skeleton in your closet. You employed a PI? You've been throwing money at expensive stuff like a lunatic. Didn't think you'd be able to afford all of it. The hell? You were too eager to look down upon me. Got carried away when girls started to notice you, huh? The girl you're intending to marry, by the way, has a boyfriend. A what? And quite a few sugar daddies. Doctors, CEOs, you name it. Oh, add lawyer to the list. She's a dangerous one. Seems like she'll sleep with anybody with means. <laughs> like I care. Stop lying! You're making all this up because you're jealous of my happily ever after. This is my last kindness I'm giving you as your ex-wife. Warning you to be careful of that woman. How can you be so ignorant? You're jealous of her youth and beauty. You can't trick me. Oh, you really are delusional. And how you go on about her youth? I'm still 30 years old, only four years apart from your mistress. Stop treating me like I'm so much older. It's rude. But you are older than her. That's a fact. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Treat me like a grandma. I don't care. Go on and blindly worship hers. You have a lot of competition. Good luck. Don't come crawling back to me when you're all alone. What do you mean by that? I have her and my parents, grandparents who support me. I would never be alone. Don't you get it? Everybody knows you cheated on me. What? You snitched? Not me. No way. I was careful not to be seen. Then the calls I'm getting for the past hour. Probably about your affair. Frick. I was ignoring it, thinking it wasn't important. I'm on a date with her. You should pick up. Ignoring won't solve the problem. Won't make anything better, though. I'm too scared. Do something about it. No way. I'm getting involved in your mess. Your father promised me that I'll get my alimony money from you. As long as that's fulfilled, then I have nothing to say. Have it your way. Don't abandon me! We were so close when we were growing up! And who ruined our kinship? Uh... There's not a single chance I'm helping you out. No, please. Pay up for your sins. Have a nice life. I blocked his number after that text, so I haven't heard from my ex-husband ever again. I got the alimony from both the mistress and my ex a few days after that. The girl wasn't careful enough to hide about it, and soon, her boyfriend found out, putting her in a pickle. She quit her job, while my ex works his ass off to pay off his debt. As for I, after selling the house, I moved out. Unlike my ex, who was shunned from the whole family, I still see them often. I intend on enjoying the single life for now.